Good evening. I thought I would make a short video uh, in tribute to one of my favourite authors and one of the greatest science fiction authors of all time, in my opinion, who passed away today at the age of 71, very sadly, uh, Greg Bear. Uh, Greg Bear has been a huge influence in my uh, uh, love of science fiction and science fiction reading habits since I uh, first picked up a copy of Eon in 1985. Uh, so he very sadly passed away today from um, basically uh, complications he'd had uh, from a, a, a operation he had a few years ago, and had subsequent operation apparently that uh, they, they were discovered strokes and uh, blood clots. Um, so it's extremely sad news. He was an extremely uh, uh, Great. He was a great author, and indeed, seventy-one is not not. Um, it's too soon, and I, I can just only give uh, my condolences to his uh, wife and uh, his children. Um, but yeah, according to a Gizmodo article, um, sci-fi novelist Greg Bear has passed away. Reports his wife Astrid. Astrid was actually the the daughter of another of my favourite. Authors of, of the past, to Paul uh, Paul Anderson, Paul and Karen Anderson, um, and as you know, this article explains there had been um, uh, clots from a, a stroke from clots that built up from a previous surgery, and unfortunately went in for new surgery and uh, didn't regain consciousness, and uh, decision was taken to to let him uh, pass peacefully. So. Um, to the undiscovered country, as Astrid says. Uh, remarkable career. I mean, uh, whilst I didn't discover him until 1985, he had sold his first story at 15, his first short story. He'd uh, worked on um, the early versions of the Star Trek Concordance reference book, uh, obviously showing great love of uh, Star Trek universe. And in 1970, he helped co-found the San Diego Comic-Con, which is a huge achievement, uh, still the best known one in the world to this day. Began publishing novels in 1979. And as I say, um, as an avid reader of science fiction since uh, I was a kid in the 60s, young kid, um, in 1985, I discovered uh, Eon, the novel Eon. And it literally was the biggest, had the biggest impact on me, I think, um, since I'd started reading science fiction. And I would say that Eon is still one of the greatest science fiction novels ever written. And Greg Bear is up there, in my opinion, with the, the uh, Golden Age greats, Asimov, uh, Clark, um, Heinlein. The, the ones that are regarded the old masters, I think he's, he's as equally as good as they are and brought science fiction hugely forward in the 1980s and beyond. Um, his topics were often very broad and sweeping. He, he was regarded as a hard science fiction author. A lot of technology, a lot of physics, a lot of extreme physics. Uh, subjects like parallel universes, alternative timelines, um, stories set in, in the far distant future of time at the end of the universe, G galactic wide conflicts, colonization of planets, interplanetary wars, and military, uh, space military uh, descriptions, advanced evolution, another subject that he was very uh, uh, brilliant at writing about with uh, Darwin's radio. Um, nanotech societies with uh, run by nanotech or um, dominated by nanotech technology and he had time also to write fantasy novels and uh, some alternative history timeline uh, stories as well and as well as that um, worked on things like the Halo series uh, wrote a Star Wars novel wrote a novel in Larry Niven's known space and a foundation prequel um, so, you know, 50 novels, several Nebula Awards, many other awards. Um, 
the Eon series uh, it's describing the way, which is the uh, method of uh, just traveling huge times and distances uh, down an artificially created uh, zero G quantum methodology of traveling, which having read the book 15 times, I still don't know if I quite understand the physics, but um, in fact, I did do a video about Eon as one of my it is one of my favourite books of all time on my channel. I do a lot of science fiction books. And this is uh, one I really wanted to get to talk about very uh, swiftly into that series. Uh, I would urge anyone that's never read any Greg Bear, buy Eon and start there. It's a fabulous book. And then read the rest of that story. But also he wrote very many other series. It was The Forge of God, which uh, series, well, two books anyway. Uh, which, uh, you know, dis discovered, you know, it's galactic white conflict, really. Uh, and also, as the aforementioned Darwin's uh, radio and Darwin's children, which are really about the advanced evolution of um, the human race. Uh, always written with fantastic detail, great technical uh, achievements, uh, technical writing, gripping, the gripping. Uh, stories, very, very, very big, big scale stories, but with some great characters too. So I would be ordered one day and I will probably do it to do a full tribute to his career. But today I just wanted to say you know, a quick thank you to Greg Mayer Bear for all the work that he did, uh, for all, which I will treasure forever and will live well beyond me. He is one of the greats. I, Hope his uh, my condolences to his family and friends. Uh, may he rest in peace. And uh, I've got nothing but respect for the man's work. Absolutely uh, brilliant writer. Um, possibly the greatest science fiction writer of the modern era, in my opinion, from the 80s onwards. So uh, I could make that assertion, that's for sure. Anyway, check out those books. Please check out my video about Eon and check out some of his uh, books and look them up. Find out about them. If you haven't read them, if you have, then uh, obviously uh, you're aware of, of what I'm talking about and just how great a writer Greg was. So sad day for us all in the science fiction uh, loving world. Um, but anyway, thank you very much for watching this short tribute. Um, please... Um, you know, check out some of Greg's work and uh, hope you all stay well and uh, hopefully I'll see you all again on this channel soon. So till then, um, have a great night and uh, take care. <laughs>